Serena, congratulations. Russell Fuller from the BBC. In your Vogue essay, you said how the thought of retirement, if I can use that word, causes you a great deal of pain. I wonder whether your feelings have changed over the last couple of weeks and whether a night like tonight actually makes it that much less painful for you. Yeah, um, I prefer the word evolution because I feel like I'm at a stage of my life where um, I'm not necessarily retiring. I'm just evolving from tennis. Um, and I do feel different. I think I was really emotional in Toronto and um, Cincinnati, and it was just, it was very difficult. And not saying it's not difficult now, it's extremely difficult still, um, because I absolutely love being out there. And the more tournaments I play, I feel like the more I can belong out there. And that's a, that's a tough feeling to have and to, um, to leave knowing that the more you do it, the more you can shine. So, um, but it's time for me, you know, to evolve to the next thing. I think it's important because there's so many other things that I want to do and et cetera. Just a reminder, one question so I can get to as many people as possible, no follow-ups. Willie? Hi, Serena. Willie Weinbaum from ESPN. What questions might you have answered for yourself with your performance tonight as you now have a second round match against a very tough player? Yeah, um, you know, for me, it's just, I don't know, I, was, I don't think I had any questions. I just knew I could be out there and that atmosphere was, was a lot, so, yeah. And as you, and your thoughts on the next match? Um, at this point, honestly, uh, everything is a bonus for me, you know, I feel, and that, um, I mean, I think every opponent is very difficult, and I've seen that over the summer, and the next one is even more difficult, so it's good that I was able to, you know, get this under my belt, and I don't know, I'm, I'm just not even thinking about that, I'm just thinking about um, just this moment, and I think it's good for me just to live in the moment now. Okay. Howard. Hi, Serena. Howard Fendrich with the Associated Press. Uh, will this definitively be your final tournament? And yeah, I've been pretty vague about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to stay vague because you never know. I just want to ask what memory will stick with you the most from tonight? Um, I think when I walked out, the um, the reception was really overwhelming. Um, it was it was loud and it was it was um, I could feel it in my chest and it was a really good feeling. Um, it's a feeling I'll never forget, and so I really um, yeah that meant a lot to me. Mark. Uh, yes, Serena, Mark Berman here in Post. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that reception. It, it, did, it looked like you didn't maybe acknowledge them. It seems that you were really laser focused. I mean, what was going through your mind uh, during that time as you're walking out? And it was a long, long introduction and, and such. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, um, is this for real, really? And, and at the same time, I'm also thinking, you know, I still have a match to play. And um, I want to be able to to play up to this reception almost. And it was so loud and I just was overwhelmed in a good way. And um, yeah, but at the same time, it's like you have to be focused and you have to be laser focused. And, um, and that's what I needed to do. And that's what I tried to do. Sandy Ho at Miami Herald. Um, you've been talking about evolving and stuff, and you have other things you want to do. Do you feel that there's any way you'll evolve to take some kind of role in the game off the court, or you're not sure about that? Yeah, um, I think so. I love the I love um, the sport, and I feel like the sport's been it's given me so much, and it's given me a platform that I never even thought I would have all because of tennis. So I don't see myself not a part of tennis. I don't know how I'm going to be a part of tennis um, as of right now. I just don't know how, but I just feel like we've come too far together to just not have anything to do with it. Ben? Serena, Ben Rothenberg, Graphic Magazine. Uh, there have been so many tributes from people like Coco Golf, like Naomi Osaka, who talked about how they wouldn't be here in the sport without you. And I know you probably 
kind of already know that on some level, but what is it like to hear things like that and just all the sort of kind words that all your peers and other people around the world have had for you in these uh, last few weeks? Yeah, it's um, between Coco and Naomi and Taylor, everyone has just been really, you know, I don't think about it like, you know, like I like it was said on the court, I don't think I've even taken a moment to realize any impact. I understand it, but I don't really meditate or think about it. Um, it's just I'll have plenty of time soon to do all that. And so I just am so grateful that they see that and I, I can see it, too, but I just don't over I don't overthink about it. I'm just still here, you know, for the time being. and. Um, just enjoying it and then but I, I feel grateful that I can have that impact I never thought I would have that impact ever I just was just a girl trying to play tennis and um, in a time where you know I could develop this impact and 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 have, be a voice and it was just so authentic because you know I do what I do and I just do it authentically me and um and I think people could really relate to that. A couple more. Tara? Tara Sullivan from the Boston Globe over here. I know you have the opportunity to play with Venus while you're here. I wonder if you could just share with us some of what she's been for you in this process. Has she been somebody you've been speaking to about things or in a supportive way? Just what that's been like between you guys since you've sort of evolved to this decision? Yeah, I feel like... Um, yeah, it's been very important for her to be a part of this, and you know, she's she's up my rock, and we we really, and I'm super excited to play with her and just do that again. It's been a long time. Okay. Ava. Serena, Ava Wallace from the Washington Post. There were so many different kind of aspects about tonight. Um, whose idea was it to have Olympia have the beads in her hair, and what did that kind of represent for you, just having her there during her home? Yeah. Um, it was either her wear beads or me, so I, I wanted to do it, but I just didn't have the time. So, um, yeah, she she likes actually wearing. She asked to wear beads a lot, um, but it actually wasn't my idea. But I was so happy when she had them on. It's perfect on her, and um, uh, yeah, tonight was all a surprise. Actually, towards the end, I didn't know any of that was happening, so I was just ready to do the encore interview and leave, and, and it, that wasn't what happened. So it was just, it was a really big surprise. Okay, last question, Chris. Karina, Chris Otto with US Open. Um, a lot of the people we've heard from in the last few weeks talking about you have said you're bigger than the sport, that you've transcended the sport. And I wonder if you've taken notice of those comments and if that is uh, important to you and how that makes you feel. Um, it makes me feel great. I've been kept my head super low throughout this whole process ever since the news came out three weeks ago. I've been like, I'm really good at putting myself in a bubble and um, that's kind of what I've been doing. And sometimes I'll hear a snippet of this and a snippet of that. Um, but for me, it's just in order to get through it, just because it's not easy, but to just get through every the emotions and the, the everything that I'm feeling, I just had to just kind of just go in and just be sort of alone and just off all kinds of media, social media and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I'm just trying to deal with that.